Okay, that's, this is looking at hypothesis testing. So it says, in a study of the accuracy of fast food drive through orders, one restaurant had 30 orders that were not accurate among 360. So this is actually your sample proportion, P hat, which we always find is X over N, and X is the number of orders that were not accurate among n being the total. And if you throw that in your calculator, you get something like 0 0.0833. All right, and it says use a 0 0.05 significant level to test the claim that the rate of inaccurate orders is equal to 10%. So our hypothesis test then is that our population, and that's P, so remember this up here is sample proportion, and this is population proportion. And so they're saying that, no, we claim that uh, inaccurate orders equals 10%. And so then the alternative would be that they do not equal 10%. There was nothing in the problem that said, are they higher or lower or anything of that sort. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to see, does this value fall in our rejection region? And it says use a alpha of 0 0.05, so alpha of 0 0.05. Since this is a two-tail test, how do you know it's two-tailed tests? Right there. So the not equal says this is a two-tailed test. So if you were looking this up in an actual table, you should be actually dividing this in half. And so 0 0.025, meaning this would be alpha, the area 0 0.025 rejection and this would be the alpha 0 0.025 rejection. So in other words, that's saying this middle piece right here is 0 0.95, right? So the alpha is 0 0.05, and if you add those three, you get um, 100%. So if I wanted to do this test based off of critical values, versus the test statistic, then I could use a little cheat table that I have over here to the right, and I can see that that zero point, and you might, want, you might say, well, how do I know what to look up in the table? Remember the table you're reading from the bottom value all the way up to that value. So let me just grab really, really quick, because this is worth showing you a table and so let's bring this table over here and so when I when I'm looking at this table and let's make it where I can kind of sort of still see that other table and you might say well 0 0.95 1.96 and you go but hey that's 0 0.9750, and that's why I always tell students get a little cheat table, but that 0 0.9750, remember how you read your table, and this is so important, is you're reading it from the bottom up to the Z value. So in this case, I looked at the positive one. So that Z value would be 0. 0 0.025 plus 0 0.95. And that's why you're actually, if you're looking it up in the Z table, you're looking up 0 0.975. But a lot of students kind of like this little cheat thing. And so I know it's 1.96. And because this is symmetric, that would be negative 1.96. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my test statistic and I'm gonna see, does it fall in the critical region? So I already have my P hat, my sample proportion, and I'm going to subtract my population proportion, 
and then divide by the square root of my population proportion. Remember Q is just simply one minus the P. So that's where that came from, one minus P. And then all over the square root of N, which was 360. All right, let's do this in a couple of steps, and sometimes students will have some issues with actually putting this in their calculator. So the top, I get negative 0 0.0167. The bottom, if I do 0 0.1 times 0 0.9, I, of course, get 0 0.2. 09 divided by 360. Top still the same, 0, 0167. Now I'm going to take that 0 0.09 and divide by 360. Oops, I did, but I divided by 36. 360, I guess I could have just added a, added a 0, right? And so this is going to be, and it's still under the square root, 0. Point 0, 0, 0, 0.00025 and then find, well, I guess let's go ahead and square root it. Let's do more steps just in case. 1, 6, 7. And now I'm going to take the square root of that denominator and I get 0 0.0158 and I um, rounded it. And so I have negative 0 0.0167 divided by 0 0.0158. And I get negative 1.06. And I did, I did round this because it was a negative 1.0569. And you always round to two decimal places because that's what you're comparing in your actual table. All right, so notice that this value would be where? So if this is standardized to zero, negative 1.96 is more negative. So this would be about right here. Thus, it did not fall in the critical region. Okay, so in other words, I would fail to reject the null. And there's nothing, you know, that I could come back and say that there really is a difference that we have to fail to reject that the claim is equal to 10%. But it's good to visualize these instead of just throwing them in Excel and getting answers to actually draw the picture to see what you're looking for.